Our objective in this lesson is to find solution of linear inequality in one variable. Let's have a quick review. In my previous video lesson, you have learned writing solution set in three different ways. These are set builder notation, interval notation, and graphical method. Like linear equation, linear inequality has properties too. These are similar with properties of equality, except for multiplication and division. When we multiply with a negative number, numbers that are less than zero, the inequality symbol reverses. Same thing is true with the division property of inequality. When we divide with a negative number, numbers that are less than zero, the inequality symbol reverses. Here are some more properties of inequality. Reversal property. This means A and B may be swapped. Just remember the technique I teach you. Pac-Man eats the bigger number. In here, Pac-Man eats 10. So when you reverse, make sure Pac-Man is still eats 10. This is also applicable when you want to place the variable on the left side when initially it is on the right side. Next is trichotomy property. Given two real numbers A and B, only one is true. Either A is less than B, or A is equal to B, or A is greater than B. Example, if A is equal to 5 and B is equal to 10, then only one is possible, and that is 5 is less than 10. Last one is transitive property of inequality. If A is less than B, and B is less than C, then A is less than C. In properties of inequality, same results are obtained if less than is replaced by greater than and vice versa. Let us define linear inequality in one variable. It is an inequality that can be written in the form of AX plus B is less than C, where A B and C are all real numbers, and the inequality less than may be replaced by greater than, less than or equal to, and greater than or equal to. Here are some examples. Just like in linear equation in one variable, the exponent of the variable here is the invisible one. Let us start solving. First step is to divide both sides by the numerical coefficient of the variable. Let me copy the given. The numerical coefficient of the variable is 10, so we divide both sides by 10. Now we simplify. 10 and 10 will cancel out, so we have here x. 30 divided by 10 is 3, so greater than 3. Let's state the solution set. For the set builder notation, this will be the set of all x such that x is greater than 3. Now let us graph. Since the variable is written on the left-hand side, then it would be easy to graph. Let's start with 3. And this is excluded because there is no or equal to. So on 3, we're going to use hollow circle. Then look where the inequality symbol points you. It points to the right. So we're going to create a line with arrowhead at the end going to the right. For the interval notation, start with 3, and 3 is not included, going to positive infinity. Another example, our first step here is to combine like terms. So it will become 7x minus 3x less than or equal to 17 minus 5. Then let's simplify. 7x minus 3x is 4x. 17 minus 5 is 12. Then we have to divide both sides by 4. So 4 and 4 will cancel out. We have x. 12 divided by 4 is 3. Let us state the solution set. So this will be the set of all x such that x is less than or equal to 3. Now we graph. Let's start with 3. This is included because there is or equal to. So on 3, we're going to use shaded circle. And then let's take a look where the inequality points us. And it is pointing to the left. So let's go to negative infinity. Now for the interval notation, it started at negative infinity up to 3. 3 is included. So bracket. Next one. 
first step is to apply distributive property. 3 times x is 3x. 3 times 2 is 6. Then we copy the rest. And then we combine like terms. We move negative x on this side. It will become plus x. And then we move 6 on this side. It will become minus 6. We simplify. 3x plus x is 4x. 10 minus 6 is 4. And then we divide both sides by 4. So 4 and 4 will cancel out. So we have here x and 4 divided by 4 is 1. Let us state the solution set. The set of all x such that x is greater than or equal to 1. Let us graph. Let's start with 1. This is included because there is or equal to. So on 1, we're going to use shaded circle. And then let's take a look. The inequality points to the right. So we're going to positive infinity. Interval notation, we started at 1 included going to positive infinity. Another one. This time we're given a fraction. Our first step here would be to isolate the constant terms. So let us move 4 on this side. It will become minus 4. Let us simplify. 5 minus 4 is 1, so x over 3 is greater than 1. Since we need to solve for the value of x, we have to eliminate this 3 here. And we can do that by applying MPI. And the number that we are going to use is this denominator. So multiply both sides by 3. Let's simplify. 3 and 3 will cancel out. So we have here x and 1 times 3 is 3. Now we state the solution set. The set of all x such that x is greater than 3. Let us graph. Let's start with 3. Excluded. So empty circle. The inequality symbol points to the right. Interval notation will be 3 to positive infinity. Another example. So once again, I'm going to move 8 on the other side to combine with negative 10. It will become minus 8. Negative 10 minus 8 is negative 18. To clear the fraction, I'm going to multiply both sides by 3. 3 times negative 18 is negative 54. And then copy less than or equal to. 3 and 3 here will cancel out. So I have 2 times x, 2x. To solve for x, let me divide both sides by 2. So 2 and 2 will cancel out. So I have x and then negative 54 divided by 2 is negative 27. Since this one is a little bit tricky when graphing, remember what I told you on how to work with this kind of inequality? We start reading from the variable side. So let's start with x. And then we read the inequality symbol in opposite direction. So instead of less than, it will become greater than or equal to. Copy negative 27. Now my variable is on the left side. It will be easier to graph. Set builder notation, the set of all x such that x is greater than or equal to negative 27. Let us graph there is or equal to, so shaded circle. Then the inequality points to the right, going to positive infinity. Interval notation from negative 27 included to positive infinity. There is another way of solving this problem. I will clear right away the fraction. So I'll multiply both sides by 3. So 3 times negative 10 is negative 30. Copy less than or equal to. And then 3 and 3 here will cancel out. So I have 2x. And then 8 times 3 is 24. Since my x is on the right side, I want it to be on the left side. I'll move it on the left side. It will become negative 2x. Copy less than or equal to copy 24. And then I'll move this. It will become plus 30. 24 plus 30 is 54. To solve for x, I'll divide both sides by negative 2. So negative 2 and negative 2 will cancel out. So I have here x. Okay, take note of this. Since we divide the inequality by a negative number, this inequality symbol reverses. So this will become greater than or equal to.
And 54 divided by negative 2 is negative 27. Set builder notation, the set of all x such that x is greater than or equal to negative 27. Same answer as earlier. This time, let us discuss compound inequalities. Two inequalities in one statement. The solution set is either the union or intersection of two expressions. This is compound inequality because it can be decomposed into two such as this. Negative 3 is less than or equal to x and x is less than 3. For set builder notation, we simply have to copy this. Now, how do we read compound inequalities? You start with the x, you go to the right, before you go back to the left. And when you go back to the left, you read the inequality symbol in opposite direction. So let me read this. The set of all x such that x is less than 3 but greater than or equal to negative 3. That's it. Now for the interval notation, these are our boundaries. Negative 3 and positive 3. Negative 3 included, positive 3 excluded. Now, let us graph. In graphing compound inequality, we graph each part. So, let us start with this one because the variable is on the left side. So, x is less than 3. So, 3 is excluded. So, on 3, empty circle. And the inequality points to the left going to negative infinity. On this one, how do we read this? x is greater than or equal to negative 3. Because of or equal to, on negative 3, we'll use shaded circle. Again, x is greater than, so greater than means going to the right. Next, we get the intersection of these two. And the intersection is from negative 3 to positive 3. Negative 3 included, 3 excluded. Let's have an example. So here our objective is to solve for the value of x. So we have to find a way to remove positive 2 here and this numerical coefficient 2. So first I'm going to remove positive 2. So I'll subtract 2 here. But whatever I do on this part, I should also do on both sides. So I'll copy negative 4 and then minus 2. And then I'll copy this, minus 2. I'll copy less than or equal to 10 and then minus 2. Negative 4 minus 2 is negative 6. Copy less than. Positive 2 and negative 2 will cancel out. So I have 2x. And then 10 minus 2 is equal to 8. This time I'll remove these two here by dividing everything by 2. Negative 6 divided by 2 is negative 3. 2 and 2 will cancel out. So I'll have x and 8 divided by 2 is equal to 4. So this is now our answer. Set builder notation, the set of all x such that x is less than or equal to 4 but greater than negative 3. Let us graph. Let us start with the right side. Less than or equal to 4. So on 4, shaded circle. The inequality points to the left going to negative infinity. And then this one, how do we read this again? X is greater than negative 3. So on negative 3, empty circle. Greater than is going to the right. The solution set is the intersection of these two, and that would be from negative 3 to positive 4. Negative 3 excluded, positive 4 included. Let us do extra challenge. To clear the fraction, we have to multiply both sides by the LCD. And the LCD of 3 and 6 is 6, so let us multiply both sides by 6. 6 times 2 is 12, divided by 3 is 4. 6 times 1 is 6, divided by 3 is 2, times x, 2x. Copy, greater than. 6 and 6 here will cancel out, so I have 8 times x, 8x. 6 times 1 is 6. Let us combine like terms. Let us move 8x to the left, that will become minus 8x. Then we copy, greater than. Move 4 to the right side, it will become minus 4. 2x minus 8x is negative 6x. 
and 6 minus 4 is 2. Let us divide both sides by negative 6. Negative 6 here will just cancel out, so I have x. And remember, since we divide by a negative number, then this inequality symbol reverses. Positive divided by negative is negative. 2 and 6 are both divisible by 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 6 divided by 2 is 3. So for set builder notation, we have the set of all x such that x is less than negative one third. Let us graph. So I have here negative one third. Here is negative one, and we are going to divide it into three parts. One, two, three parts. We are going to choose the first part, and this is the first part. Empty circle. The inequality points to the left. Interval notation is from negative infinity to negative one-third not included. Let's have another one. So this is another type of compound inequality. We're going to treat this one by one. So let's have the first one. Let us move 8 to the other side. It will become minus 8. And 4 minus 8 is negative 4. Let us divide both sides by 4. 4 and 4 will cancel out. So I have x. And then negative 4 divided by 4 is negative 1. Next part is 16 plus 2 is greater than 10. Let us move 2 to the other side and 10 minus 2 is equal to 8. Let us divide both sides by 16. 16 here will cancel out. So I have x copy greater than 8 and 16 are both divisible by 8. 8 divided by 8 is 1. 16 divided by 8 is 2. For the set builder notation, we have to combine these two. So the first part is the set of all x such that x is less than or equal to negative 1. And then union with x is greater than 1 half. Let us graph. Let's start with negative 1. Here is negative 1 or equal to, so we're going to use shaded circle. The inequality points to the left. For this one, 1 half, this is also equal to 0.5. So in here, just greater than, so empty circle. And then the inequality points to the right. Interval notation, negative infinity up to negative 1 included. Union, 1 half excluded going to positive infinity. Remember this? The process of solving linear inequality is similar in solving linear equation. And reverse the inequality symbol when you multiply or divide an inequality by a negative number. Now it is time to check your understanding. Pause this video for more time. <music> Let us answer. Here we are going to apply distributive property. First, let us copy this one. And then negative 3 times x is negative 3x. Negative 3 times negative 4 is positive 12. Let us combine like terms. Let us rewrite 5x. 3x moving to the other side will become minus 3x. Minus 3x moving to the other side will become plus 3x. Copy less than or equal to. Copy 2. Copy 12, negative 6 moving to the other side will become positive 6. Negative 3x and 3x will just cancel out, so we have 5x. 2 plus 12 is 14, plus 6 is 20. Let us divide both sides by 5. 5 and 5 will cancel out. 20 divided by 5 is 4. Set builder notation, the set of all x such that x is less than or equal to 4. Let us graph. Let us start with 4. This is or equal to, so on 4 shaded circle. The inequality points to the left. Interval notation from negative infinity to 4 included. Gets? Our next lesson is solving equations involving absolute values.